received. Yeah, I mean, they were a calling card for the Attitude Era. It sounded like cool, hip, young. It they sounded like rage. Yeah, questionable absolutely. language with the suck it and the crotch chops. And they were pushing the envelope. Yeah, no, no doubt at, at the time. As as we were being as we were being, uh, you know, restricted and constricted to, to what we could do by by standards and practices on a daily basis. I'm talking about yeah. 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 I saw a thing the other day on the internet and it was this, this guy, I'm not going to put him over, but I hope, I hope he realizes, uh, someday that he's, I blocked him from everything that he has access to of mine. Uh, but he asks Eric the question of what, what was the, what was the demise of WCW? And his first thing was, was it the Kevin Nash, Hulk Hogan, finger poke of doom? Or was it, he named something else. Or was it giving away the finish, the, the, the Mick Foley finish, the same night? Like, basically, something that happened that night made us sell you know, to, to, to Vince. And I just think to myself, like, dude. Eric is like Eric has a podcast. Eric has went over this a thousand times. How do people like when you ask somebody uh, when you interview somebody, do you go back and make a list of <laughs> every question that every other interviewer does and then you do you, re you repeat those? So Eric has to say in 98 I was I was brought over to the other tower into a room of of production people and in high ups, I had no idea who they were, and they started to tell me how I was going to run WCW. And this is a company that I took from losing ten million dollars mm. to making three hundred million dollars the year before. You There's know, no one like, thing. No, a finger WCW. poke of doom. And this has been covered it. enough by everybody no, that was it's, in power it was, over there. It, it but it's. I, I I promise you. I promise you. If you had to pick one thing, it would be the dot com crash, because AOL dot com owned it, and it went shit belly up. The stock went nowhere. It went from like fifty dollars to eleven dollars. Like you bring three up days. an interesting thing about standards and you know, practices, because like, as you guys are trying to, I'm saying you guys, meaning WCW and WO, as you guys are trying to compete with what's going on on USA Network. You're, you're unable to match the edginess that is over with the younger fans because standards and practices has to look at everything first. Right. We had them in our booking meeting. We had a standards and practice person in our booking meeting. So any, it wasn't like you couldn't even churn what the idea. What things would they object to? Was it only language, or was it like? Oh no, you could, you could. I always was able to get by with innuendos. You know, like you 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 had to be really clever mm -hmm. and just say, no, that's not what I meant. You know, um, but. I remember I was sitting in the back of a limousine when, when we were leaving TV. It was just me and Eric. And he said, Kev, he goes, Matt, it's like, it's, it's impossible. And he says, we can't, like, to get somebody over. We can't get anybody over. He says, it's, it's, it's impossible with these restrictions. And I said, yeah, I guess so. If you got Val Venus with the towel wrapped around him and Jenna Jameson exactly. taking a shower with him. Yeah. You know, on the, on, on the other, on the other program. And he just, and he just like, wasn't mm -hmm. like Eric was, you know, Eric's smart as fuck, you know. Eric was just like, like, I'm like, dude, you know. As Sullivan would say, the uh, in, in in the land of the uh, the land of the blind, the one eyed man we is gotta king. We got to get some Kev on here. <laughs> yeah, brother, in the land of the blind, the one eyed man is yeah, king. So, so, but yeah, so yeah. We 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 had uh, we had an armless pitcher out there. <laughs> the catcher keeps asking for the fastball, and he's just going. 
Barely, barely a flesh wound. So, Mar- but um, so now, so Eric at the time. So take me to NWO Eric, uh, talking to you guys back. So he gets a limo, says, "Oh man, it's it can't get anybody over here." Whatever. Is he talking about puncturing holes in DX by pilfering more talent, or what's his game plan when he realizes that his hands are tied? Once, once they get Tyson and they and they pull off uh, pull off yeah. that pull off that WrestleMania, there was such a momentum switch, you know. There, um, it's just you know you you had at, at that time you know nobody did anywhere near the numbers that that Mike Tyson did. Right. So putting him back in a pay per view situation, and then and then having the Attitude Era was, was and, I mean. And, and let's not forget there was a a, a, a guy named Steve Austin yeah. that was that was kind of you know heard of him yeah a little bit you know and just like so he's doing what everybody he's beating he's beating the, the, his boss's ass what everybody wants to do on, on earth I mean 